Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today's video is I will be talking about the Versant um, examination sa VXI. Now, I know na marami mga nagki-questions about the language assessment examination dito sa VXI. There are actually two. There are Berlitz and Versant. So, when I applied in VXI, I did have the Berlitz examination. So, if you do want to check out my tips on how to pass a Berlitz examination, it's actually on my YouTube channel. So, hanapin nyo lang dun. I think it's three months ago. So, ayun. Sa hanggang ngayon, is yun pa rin yung ginagamit nila na, na Berlitz na examination. So, yung tips is applicable pa din doon sa mga gusto mag-apply. Sa VXI, still um, applicable pa rin yung... Um, Ang natin dito, yung um, tips na yun. So, if you do want to check that out, so, yun. So, that's the Berlitz examination tips that I did at nakawantik lang ako. Now, in this video, let's talk about the Versant examination sa VXI. So, ano bang kaibahan ng Berlitz at Versant? So, Berlitz is actually more of situational questions. So, you will be given an ample time to prepare like 30 seconds to read the question. And then you will be given around 90 to 120 seconds for you to answer, give your best answer to, and give your best resolution, give your best um, yun nga, answer resolution, and then if ever na meron sila ipapagawa sa'yo, like offering, so yun. So yun yung gagawin mo. So yun yung mga sa Berlitz. And after that one, you will go to the next question. So, in Berlitz examination, there are actually six questions doon sa Berlitz examination. And it's actually tuloy-tuloy siya. Hindi siya, hindi siya putol-putol. So, it's consecutive six situational questions. In my case, it's actually five only. Yung pinako ng question ko is parang something na may pinadescribe sila sa akin. Like, um, what is sales? Parang ganon. So, yun, yun yung gagawin mo sa Berlitz examination. Now, again, there is a video, separate video about the Berlitz examination. If you have the Berlitz examination, please check that out. It's only around 13-minute video. And hope and I'm also very thankful kasi maraming mga nagko-comment doon na talagang nakatulong na maraming nakapasa. And also, in on-site, ng mga may mga na-meet na ako ng mga nakapasa dahil sa video na yun. So, I'm very thankful for you guys na pinapanood nyo pa rin yung video na yun hanggang ngayon. So, please do check that out para maka one take lang kayo because we're aiming for only one take ng Berlitz exam. Now, let's talk about the Versant exam. So, the Versant is actually another language assessment test na kailangan ipasa. So, it's actually not because of the company. I believe meron din ito sa ibang Berlitz and Versant. Actually, meron din doon sa ibang companies na BPO companies dito sa Pilipinas. Now, bakit nga ba may Versant, may Berlitz, tapos sa iba, wala? It's actually because um, the clients, yung mga accounts, for example, at T-Mobile, um, Verizon, um, AT&T, the one that I have right now, um, ibang accounts, they require um foreign um employees like tayo dito sa Pilipinas because they are all American accounts. So or European or American accounts, they require um their employees to have um to pass the Ber the Versant Versant, uh, Bisaya best Versant and Berlitz examination para makapasok kayo as a um, employee sa kanila because you, once you get hired, hindi, employee ka ng company, ng BPO company, but you are affiliated doon sa kanilang account, doon sa company ng account na meron yung site nyo. So, parang ganun. So, um, yun, nare-record nila yung mga kanilang mga um, employees na mag-take ng, ng examination na yun. And, hindi yung company, hindi, for example, for me, hindi yung VXA yung mag-check doon sa examination sa language assessment nyo, kundi yung clients itself, yung Americans ang mag-check. So, um, again, um, the clients are the one who will be um, checking that one, who will be making a decision if nakapasa ka or hindi. So, and it's because it's American, so make sure that to follow the instructions because instructions are very important. Now, talking about Versant, it's actually the same. It has six um, situational questions. Um, so, ano nga bang pinagkaiba? So, the big difference between them is doon sa each situational question ng Versant, meron silang um, different sections. The, the first section doon sa question is reading comprehension. There will be a sentence or a phrase that they're going to let you um, read. So, babasahin mo yun. And then, from kung ano yung binasa mo, bibigay ka ng answer. So, doon yung lalabas yung reading, reading comprehension. And after that one, ipapa ulit nila sa'yo yung uh, questions. Doon lang sa pag pagbasa doon sa 
um, phrase or sentence in, make sure that you have a clear voice. So, make sure na hindi mo mamadalian. If ever that you have accent, because ako, I didn't use any accent, like American accent, hindi ako gumamit nun. What I used is my neutral accent. The one that you will be using when you take calls. Kasi, after si par mag accent ka tapos pag dating para doon sa training or sa prod hindi yun yung gagamitin mong accent neutral accent ka lang pala um baka ma-check nila kasi yung clients natin dito sa BPO Industries constant yung yung checking nila doon sa mga calls natin so make sure na clear yung voice mo and make sure na one of the things na talagang hi, na pa, kasi you will be nervous, di ba, at the time. Kasi talaga examination siya, so talagang kakabahan ka. What you need to do, personally for me, is drink a lot of water para ma-hydrate yung um, throat mo. Kasi mahaba, mahabang process yung verse sound. Actually, it would take around um, an hour or more uh, if you're taking the verse sound. Kasi maraming nga siyang sections. So, reading comprehension, then may ipapabasa sila sa'yo, and then you will give your resolution your answer. So it really depends. So if the situation, for example, is to sell a product. So for example, um, yung situation is pinagbibenta ka ng um, ball pen or a pen. So how is this pen um, out best other um, pens that there are in the market? Parang ganun. So you will give your clear answer. And then one of the things that are very effective is not to stop speaking. If ever that you, you will have a 90 seconds and 60 seconds pa lang is nabigay mo na yung answer mo. Ang magandang gawin mo, wag ka agad mag, magputol. Kasi, kailangan mong tapusin yung 90 seconds. At kahit hindi ka na makapag-thank you or hindi ka makag-end talaga, wala kang ending doon sa answer mo, basta keep on talking lang. For example, um, 60 seconds, tapos sabi mo na yung difference. So, uh, ang gawin mo is, Suggest, um, sell that one to the person. Like, focus ka na agad. So, I highly recommend this pen because um, not only that this is um, a high-quality pen, it also, uh, like, um, yung cost niya is actually same sa other uh, market na mga, andun sa market na mga pen. And then, you will be paying the same price but you will have a higher quality. You will have the best. Para mga gadot, yung para talagang make sure na when you're answering the verse sound, if ever na yung yung um yung question nila is to parang magbenta ka, make it very um ang tagatin dito para talagang madadani mo, parang makukuha mo talaga yung loob ng customers na bibili sa yon. And if ever that they would make a comp- if they want you to make a comparison, make sure that talaga na yung yung talagang ino offer mo is talagang angat doon sa isa. Wag kang magpang borderline because what our clients want from uh, from us na hinahari nila is someone who could provide them the best um, customer experience, di ba? For example, technical um talagang if talagang makakatulong ka, talagang mas resolve mo yung concern nung um ng customer. Talaga mabibigay mo kung ano yung gusto niyang um, resolution doon sa technical problems niya. If you're on the sales, gusto ng ng um, ng clients at talagang makaka-offer ka talagang ba- kakabili every time you make calls, talagang sale call, sale call, sale call, sale call. Parang ganun, talagang benta ka ng benta. Parang ganun. So there are a lot of um, accounts, there are a lot of um, and so first on is hindi dahil because tal ko yung account mo, sales ka. A sales din yung situational questions. It's not like that. So, versant is it's actually wide range. So, makaka-encounter ka ng technical, makaka-encounter ka ng sales, uh, makaka-encounter ka ng advices, um, legal advices, um, healthcare, um, travel, lahat. Lahat talaga is talagang ma- ma- ma-i-encounter mo sa versant. So, here's what I'm also um, recommending to all of you guys and highly suggest this to everyone. Make sure na if you will be taking the versant or if you're planning to apply, um, study on other um, different accounts. Healthcare, insurance, travel, sales, um, technical, um, different accounts like AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, things like those. Kasi sobrang importante nun para meron kang... Um, first had experience and how to answer the body um, the situational questions that you will be having sa versant kasi um, 
hindi dahil isang company lang because for example AT&T like the one that I have right now hindi lang skills yung account nila meron din silang technical meron silang wireless meron silang TV may mga ganon so in those different accounts then as well merong iba't ibang um, department Diba? Mayroong billing department, may sales billing department, parang ganun, technical department. So, make sure talaga na you will have a lot of time to um, to apply. And if ever that you're someone who is in VEXI right now, kung saan VEXI ka man nag-a-apply and you're up for first time, you're waiting, uh, make sure to check um, other... Um, representatives or vloggers sa gumagawa ng versant examination kasi yun yung ginawa ko din dati nag, 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 may makukuha kang tips sa kanila so if ever na may nakuha kang tips sa akin may makukuha ka din tips sa kanila so make sure to try that and then um uh, try to google kung ano ba ang versant examination kung ano ba yung mga sections sa kailangan gawin doon sa versant examination and so yeah so again, yun yung mga tips na mabibigay ko sa inyo. And hopefully, makatulog din tong video na to. I know it's kind of short, but um, most of the things, like, yun lang yung difference niya actually. It's meron siyang sectioning. But aside from that, please um, watch my Burlitz examination video. Kasi meron ako in-explain doon, which is the same lang, kung paano yung i-answer one by one. Kasi may nagbigay ako doon ng six different situational questions for, for Burlitz examination. And applicable yun lahat doon sa Versant. It's actually um, parang sister examinations ng CIA, parang affiliated examinations. Same lang yung process nila. May different sections lang yung Versant, which actually it would take longer to take the Versant compared doon sa Burlets. So, yeah. So, that's it for this video. If ever that you have any questions or suggestions or recommendations na gusto nyo gawin ko in the future or about this video, please don't um, hesitate to leave your comments down below sa comment sections natin. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe, give this video a like, share this video, and at the same time, click notification ba para ma-update kayo sa mga future videos ko in the future. So, that's it for this video. This is Christian and hope to see you soon on my next vlog. Bye!